So here I've got um, two examples of 3D rolls. And um, you can use both by encapsulating or you can use it on the surface of the nail when you're finished the design here this one's a bit thicker so you can see um, the petals are a bit thicker than these ones these ones can be encapsulated and these ones can be used for the finished product let me just move around I've done them in singular pieces that you can move them around so I can show you how to do your perfect rows okay stay tuned and don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel Right, so I went and customized the brush I had. Um, it's an old brush that I've been using for a couple years, but it's been a bit um, battered and um, not giving me the um, nice petal shapes that I want. So I've just gone and trimmed it. So I'll be using my own um, acrylics today. One. So it's I'll called Dead End. And that's my own brand of acrylic so this one's called dead end it's got um a lot of shimmer in this one which is really pretty okay so we'll go straight into the video so what i'll be doing is i'll be doing my first first petal so i'll be using two different brushes so i'll be using the number two brush 3d brush and I'll also be using this number I can't even tell you what number this is I think it's a number two I think it's a number two and that's to do the the, the middle bit here okay so let me start by taking up a bit of the liquid and placing it down okay just wiping off the excess I'm just making this into a did you see that so I'll just break it yeah that's all I did let's just break it and then I'll be using this to go in and to make the, the number six so I call it a number six because that's how I remember it and then you just press outwards okay oops gentle not as crazy as I did just now you can always put that back in and you just press wet your brush if you need to just clean up around the area because if you're gonna do this on a nail you're gonna make sure the area is well clean okay so that's the number six so what you can do you can have a little guide like what I did. I drew this out early and this helps me to position my petals, okay? Right. So I'll go in with my second bead, which I'll switch the brushes now and I'll go in with the bigger 3D brush. And I'll do the second one here, which I'm going to make like a C. Sorry, a laugh. That's what I usually say. A laugh like you're smiling okay so you can make it as thin as you want because you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna tap this out and make sure you get all the water the excess liquid out sorry and then we're just gonna press this out just bear with me and that's the first bigger um, petal Okay, just neaten that up and just clean it up because black's a messy color, so we need to just remember to clean up as we go along. Okay, so that's the second one, but first in the big petal. 
then we're going to come across here so we know it's going to be this way so we're going to put this petal down try and see if you can get it as wet as possible because that bead just now was a bit dry so you kind of drag the bead along the area you want it okay there you go you can make it a bit bigger so i'll just put some more on and i'll just drag the excess down to where i want it okay and just shape it as you go along Take that off and then you just press outwards so let me just use my other hand just press outwards okay and remember to bring back the shape in all right take that out and if it's getting too close you just go in with your smaller brush and go wee and there you go okay and just bring it out a bit more okay and that's your third petal and then we go in and we do the other side so we do the other side from there so we come around as long as you have your guide in front of you you can see what you're doing okay and then with this one you do the same you just make sure it's nice and even underneath and then you just press you press out okay sorry the way I'm sitting and the way I've angled my tripod right and then with this one you go in and do the same method you just clean up okay make it as neat as possible right and that would be your let me bring that a bit closer in just bring it a bit closer it's a bit too elongated out sorry see the six just move it, it, it will move guys as it's on that paper so let me just fix this back in and then we just stick it back there yeah okay so that's your petal done you don't have to do it that big because the one I did up earlier it wasn't that big you can see it's a bit smaller but it all depends on where you're gonna put the the petal and you can also put leaves in if you want to I'm going and just show you how I do my leaves so one leaf is there, if I can get it off, yep, let me use my smaller brush, I think I'm going better with my smaller brush, there. So that's one of the leaves. Yep. So that's one of the leaves. And then I can have another leaf like this way. A bit too runny. Okay, let's do that again. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna put that there. Just bring the tip down a bit. Okay, and you just take your time until you get the shape of your petal. You can do leaves in different ways. You don't have to do it like this. 
I'm just showing you how I do this one. And then you can make like designs in the middle of it. Okay. And then obviously you do another run on that side if you wanted to. But I just wanted to show you a quick demonstration of how I do my roses. Please comment down below. Let me know if there's anything that you want me to do for you to see. And if you do recreate, just tag me and let me see your recreations. Um, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. this to see exactly how high you want it okay is it less height is it less making a mess as it is because i'm just trying to make it just do the height in stages okay just clean that up to tell you guys when you were doing the the petals how you can remember as well is you can say this is the nose which is the six the nose the mouth the ears I think it's eyes nose mouth yeah like a puppy dog eye A nice little flat roses with gel to encapsulate the glitter what I could suggest as well is when doing this you could actually wow this is so pretty just look at that that is amazing <laughs> oh my word you just go around and neat up your work so you get your um just to give it a nice neater look let me just place that in my hand that, look, that looks like a brooch 
don't you think? That is so pretty. Okay, guys. So with this, you could leave it like that or you could use the foil, you know, the foil over it as well to give it that effect. So I'm going to leave it like this because I think it's nice. But I'm going to do a live video for um, social media and I'm going to do the foil application on that one. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And if you do really, really like this video, give it a thumbs up and spread the word. Somebody may want to know how this is done so seem simple and so easy. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Kisses and glitter. Sprinkle with glitter love. So I went ahead and I did a nail. So I wanted to show you how it would look on a smaller scale as you were practicing how to do your roses. So now you transfer it on your nail. What's a good hint or a good tip is to you could draw the roses on the nail first. So you could get an idea where to do your placement. And also another hack for um, making your 3D rose pop more when you encapsulate because I will be encapsulating, is um, shading your petals. Here you can tell the difference between the top and the saccharine roses, which one I've shaded. So I went ahead and I shaded all the roses and I'm now ready for encapsulation.